Hey, Boss Dragon Metals here. Today I will be painting the inner control panel bulkhead, which is uh, actually on the aft, so the aft control bulkhead. That's why it's called that. It's got all the controls on, lots of fading, and all this needs painting. As you can see, these are just water marks running from where it's running, from where that wasn't painted, but now it is. Right over there by the radio, I'm going to have to cut in some something fierce there to get that as well as this big door here which is to the engine I've also got these cables here and the solar arrays actually out of the way screw holes are still there and such so it's going to take a while to paint all this I suspect try and get a good angle going that's going to obliterate that picture there we go, it's not bad. I'm going to start up by here from the control panel, work my way along, and down also. So, this is the paint I will be using. I'm already going through a couple of pots, I painted quite a lot of other things as well the frame on the door, small kitchen door, and the aft uh, bow bulkhead. Which I have a lot to do left. Oh. So, let's get on with it. Not sure how much is left in here. Uh, that's quite a bit. Uses a surprising amount. I always get some on me as well, that's unavoidable. And I'm losing bristles due to the fact that I've used this brush like a lot already. actually painted uh, laterally the grain on the upper part, the lower part's downward so gotta keep with the grain though, put a bit on the inside there, an odd bit, uh, definitely, I mean it'd be weird not to paint it, also it'll stand out if I don't. Odd angle, and I've got to be careful because I've just painted this cabin, this uh, locker here, and it's still going to be wet for a few hours. Uh, it's coming along fine now. The bristle come off, that keeps happening. Use the end of the brush to pick it off. tend to stick to you though, so it can be hard to get rid of you. The reason that's happening is because the methylated spirit I used to clean the brushes is eaten into the glue that connects the bristles. So be warned. Still, brush cleaning is important, otherwise you'll have all stray particles and stuff, which will look nasty. Really gungy this stuff. Be careful not to get much, if any, on the white. Obviously, that's taking some cutting in there. Okay. All right. Yep, got that. But there's a little bit of a splash there. I'm gonna have to tear off a bit of paper towel to get that. I don't want that, so I'm just going to have to remove it later. So, get that in there. Ah, all gone. Paper towels, very handy. Recommend them. Paint's really weird, this varnish stuff. And you've got to put it on thick and it's really hot inside here right now gotta be getting on for 30 something like that maybe more so sort of mini summer in the uk at the moment 
should be in it extremely hot in here even with the cabin door open and the vent and so on ventilation summer's an issue I've also got to paint this char table which is huge so that's going to take a lot also got the rear uh, aft no the bow bulkhead these sideway things um, engine cabin it's going to take it ages and many pots of paint so I've already used like mm, three used three so far and I've got plenty left well should have enough hopefully if not I may have to get an extra tin There's a lot more paint than I thought would be used. I thought it would be the, a lot more watery, to be honest. But it's not. It's actually quite unwatery and more gluey and gungy. Anything. cutting in here just enough but not enough to the oh it's actually gone slightly under the bulkhead that's great I'm going to patch up the there and do try and paint it from the direction it needs to go there we go sweet I look lovely once it's done. I'm having all this faded old ass woodwork. I've already done the inner cabin door as well and the safety handles outside. All that's left is the tiller which is actually painted in different sort of nice teak which is way way lighter which I won't be using. I like it the way it is. The tiller is um, the stick that controls the rudder. You use the steer. Sailboat. A lot have wheels, but mine doesn't. Some do, some don't. Depends whether you're into traditional sailing or more modern sort of sailing, I guess. Coots are making strange sounds out there. Check out them, the video of them baby coots as on my channel. It's a um, short in my shorts. They're the cutest things ever. So fluffy. They're actually quite tame. They come straight up to me. Although I've been here for about uh, nearly a couple of days now. part of all painting and doing maintenance getting rid of all supplies so a lot that needs doing planning on heavily upgrading the windy ridge I'm not going to say what, as that will be for future videos. But every upgrade will increase the time that I can stay on board, obviously. Depending if it's like a, something to do with staying aboard longer, like a shower for example. Or um, a wetsuit, so I can dive. I'm not a bad swimmer, can swim, but I wouldn't go out if it was like any like sort of wave height. As that's just hard work. Damn it, someone that 
white. This is actually just white plastic. Could probably respray it with white paint. I think I will at some point. I was going to get yacht primer, but that stuff's really thick. And it'll show like hell on this. Where the spray should have an even unnoticeable layer. Probably go for spray, I'm not sure. Tell me what you think in the comments. Should I spray the white or should I paint it traditionally with a brush? Which will probably show loads of brush marks as it's not wood. So, but they could definitely do with it. Do need a lot of the white painted. A lot of stress cracks on the paintwork also. The glass reinforced plastic underneath. Which is um, basically fiberglass and thick thick plastic. The type that you can like smack with a hammer and doesn't shatter that stuff. Which is why most boats are made from it these days. Oh, that's a bit loose. Oh, that's not right. Screwdriver. Don't know why that's loose. Loose bolt. One of many as I need to go through and tighten every single bolt also. It's really unfun, and I'm going to paint these bolts in. Uh, you know, these look weird with the silver standing out. Another bristle tip. Don't like these cables here much above here. But in order to get rid of that and I would have to rewire it all like, that. like all of the gauges and the tachyometer and such wind gauge probably wouldn't be too difficult there are uh, connectors on some of them. Just thinking of threading them through like one of those 3D printed cable management things. Does they look sort of futuristic? Not sure though. Don't know why those two are wired outside the bulkhead while that's wired in. I think they're additions actually. I think about that. Otherwise, why are they there and why is that routing drill hole things? Also, someone's painted in here before me because there's loads of like missing corners from cutting in in the bathroom section. Which is a uh, in the bow, the front. Nice. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. I was going to use masking tape on this, but it would have took way longer. And it just adds to the work, so just being very careful, get on with it. Best I feel. Does that just be adding time? Do this lock also. Alright, now to move across. Since it's moving. It's a bit thin by here, that's going to have to be thickened. There we 
go. That's beautiful, as you can see. Look at the difference. Look at that. Coming along nice, huh? This takes ages to write. Oops, son. Damn it. Look at the difference there between painted and unpainted. You can see that's a pretty major difference. my painting goo kit. Damn it. <coughs> Just handy for any spills. Just put it along the painting area. It don't matter if it goes down there too much. Since I'm gonna be repaint painting that any moment. Solar cables are going to get in the way at the bottom, I suspect. They already have ah, getting in the way a bit. I'm not painting these locks if I can help it. As they are for the stairs, which is already painted. Painted it uh, last evening. which I had a, a good job comment of some of the couples opposite watching me paint it for about half hour they said they liked the colour uh, yeah, that's good Someone said that painting was therapeutic. Oh yeah, uh, my father, Martin Dietzka. Check out his YouTube channel. It's big. It's really absorbing in. A little bit. Really bright by there. Move back a bit. Sorry about the mad brightness. Cabin door there, see, look at that. <laughs> Can't even see anything if it's at that angle. Go from here, since I'm going to be doing this bit now anyway. Yeah, that's about perfect. From here onwards. Ooh, I nearly went into my build, which is empty. Because it's so hot that it's all evaporated. Not that I have been out in a while, I need to clean my diesel tank. Which means I'm going to have to show how to do that. Since it can be different for every boat, I guess. Because these are all slightly different in design. As makes the boats more unique to you, I guess. Which it does. Lots of over spill under there that I've just noticed. I guess uh, over me. There. Don't have to get off with an athletic spirit, but there you go. I hate that stuff, it smells so much.
brush it in a few times on the same spot. As you can see, it sort of ends up in a weird and evenish look. Which I don't want. Switch sides. Lucky's with me. Hi, Lucky. Got all food and water and stuff. She's been having a nice time. No sense leaving her alone. As she would be lonely and have no one to care for her for a couple of days, so that's no good, is it? And I don't really trust people anyway with a little bit. It's not actually a choice pet, believe it or not. It's just uh, I always end up with a rabbit, the last rabbit I had for well, 14 years. He was, he was a he rabbit and he lived a very long time for a rabbit. And three days after he passed away, I found her sprinting up a main road, about to get squished any second. It looked like she'd been out a while and also. She'd be scared and glad to be rescued. That was many years of no go now. Uh, about three, three and a bit. So I'm quite protective over her now, since I love her. <laughs> She's a very happy bunny. She's not very active though, female bunnies aren't very active. Not compared to the male bunnies, they're absolutely nuts. The last rabbit, uh, Fluffy. Not lucky, like my current rabbit, Fluffy, used to wake up nibbling my hair, which was nuts. <laughs> you know, because I've got long hair, and he thought that he might try and clean my hair. It was nice of him, but also that wakes you up at like first light every day. do miss him. Also, well, I got lucky. We've been all over. She's been in all sorts of things. She's been in trains, boats, cars, vans. She's used to travelling. She's never been on a plane though. I'm actually a uh, I'm sure if she can even go on a plane. I think uh, some airlines take rabbits, I'm not sure. I have to look into that. Oh. Got Zoom on my radio. Almost done the top part, and it's just the door. Remember that USB there? Don't worry. Go on with you. Cool. Just this control panel over here, which is oh, it's used to start the engine, but all the rest of it is off. Which means I need to wire it all in. It's to do with the alternator. Yes. You can see that's where I'm painting, where I was, coming along nicely. This thing here, this is supposed to be the alternator, so when the engine's on I flick that, light comes on, because there's a light on it, and this gauge is supposed to move, and it's supposed to charge my 
batteries, so I can have pretty much unlimited anchor lights and stuff like that. But it doesn't. So it's either my alternator's old and I need to refresh or get a new one, or it's not even wired in properly. So that's a thing that I must test. But definitely in a later video. <sighs> Obviously, be a video of its own. Ooh, all over that control panel, then. Slow down. Now, obviously, the alternator will be another video of its own, diagnosing that problem, whatever it is. May, in fact, need a new one. It's fine, they're not too expensive. You can get like a ones for cars that will pretty much work the same. They even fit the same. So, there's a lot around. <laughs> Since there's cars everywhere. A bit bright by there. Definitely looking better. Right. Side of the radio. Don't want to miss it too much. I mean, don't want to get too much paint on it. Ah, bristle. That keeps happening. Absolutely stinks of varnish and paint. Strong stuff. It's a bit high. Ow. It's also absolutely boiling in here. Well, actually, I've been. It's been hotter in here, to be honest. Back when it was that um, crazy heat wave, that was amazing. And I went out. During um, the Heart Foundation sale day. Oh, that was a mistake. Everything went crap. <laughs> Almost died, basically. But didn't made it. have to watch the Windy Ridge playlist if you want to find out what I mean by that. Check out all the videos, you'll find it. I'm not sure which one it is, actually. I say that in. But there is a playlist. There's all the marina activities and any work that I do on board. Ooh. All right, bit all over that panel. Wipes off very easily though. Like this panel actually is cool and retro looking. So it's not something I would replace. I'd probably just polish it up really nice. But it would polish up nice with a uh, metal cleaner. WD-40 should do it. Just tapering off at an angle here. Uh, awkward. Ow, that's hurting my arm. Crap. Ah! Weird angle. Rotate my arm a bit. Ugh. Ow. I'm gonna pull a muscle. 
looking at a weird angle. Look at that. Been painting for hours though, so my arms hurting. I've uh, done the cabin doors, both the doors in here inside. On that section, the rim, kitchen, and aft section. Uh, bow section. I'm in the aft section. As my boat is parked the wrong way round by purpose, though. As my solar panels are on the back, and I don't see anything going on if I face the other way. I've noticed. Also makes it easy to spot which boat's mine, since my one's facing the wrong way, and I've got to reverse to go out, and everyone's generally packs reverse. So. Good for marking out my boats. So there is a certain logic to that. Right. Could to make it all so much. What's all about? Cutting in. Uh, no, I was going to get some on the white. Uh, off. Yeah, it's coming off nice enough. It's coming off nice enough, anyway. As I said, this plastic, should I spray it or should I hand paint it? Not sure. Also got to do the cabin here. This cabin. Done the one opposite. Really busy here today. So top section done. That's what I was on about. Done that side. Also got to do that one there. Lots of stuff there. And this one behind me. Right, that's what I've done so far anyway. Ooh, adjust the camera. There we go. Top section, nice and shiny. Still got some on there, but as I said, I'm going to be painting that. There's a cupboard in which lies my fridge. Which is actually quite powerful and has milk in it. Come to think of it, it's boiling hot and that should be on. Uh, there we go. Yep, it's on. Fan sound. It's actually uh, Peltier powered, so it's uh, one of those things. <laughs> it's like a Thermal do that. Mix coldness and also mix heat. And I have a video where if you put a peltier cell in a fire, you can charge your phone. Don't advise that well. Let's go for this door first. covered in like sort of scratches and marks and crap just like everything in here on, to do with wood all needs repainting which is exactly what I'm doing also needs to empty my diesel tank as I said and test my Origo 3000 hob I haven't done because I've been cooking with oh, damn, I've been cooking with butane as it cooks quicker. Still got to do the rim anyway. Yeah, that handle also. Big blob came off then. Works a 
the lock in. It's a bit cooler down here, actually. Actually, it's a lot cooler down here. Also, I just put the fridge on, so that's putting up some cool air. Last night I put it on to cool my milk down and I was like, what the hell's going on? It's freezing! And I had left the fridge door open. So I just like literally like had a fridge right next to me for ages. Gotta remember to close that fridge door. And it was already a cold night, so. But I did have a like sort of free concert, which was pretty neat. Not free by intentional means, they were just extremely loud. Polar Express. Like, uh, do sort of, um, fallout -y type music. You know, you know what I mean. If you don't type in fallout music in YouTube, then you'll know what I mean. Alright stuff. We're like all like really, really drunk last night and wouldn't shut up till about one o'clock. After their party, they were all talking bollocks, basically. <laughs> Not my sort of thing. here today, everyone seems to be working on their boats for some reason, weather's nice, well, that contributes. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't stain in properly, still only got to do this bit afterwards. So, should be done soon. Saves a good amount of money painting yourself, obviously. Since painting is semi hard work. For some. And by painting yourself, you save a load of money. Because this paint, paint is actually really cheap. For about uh, ten, uh, um, ten pounds, you can get several tins of this, which is just as well because you will need it if you have anything like the amount of wood that I have to paint. Can't even imagine how many tins those fully wooden chips use on a yearly basis. Must be like skip full of paint probably is <laughs> some beautiful ships in the Pranaf Marina lately a lot of good deals going on as well off for uh, sale if anyone's interested in buying a ship if you're thinking on living on one straight up nah don't. You've got to have very specific equipment to do that. 
like uh, you need a water maker for example which is an extremely expensive I mean extremely expensive piece of equipment I think thousands of pounds ones for the big ships that they cost hundreds of thousands of pounds yeah you can make one yourself however DIY it's a lot cheaper but there's obviously a lot of trial and error and making things it'll still cost you hundreds of pounds at that even if you make a DIY one and I'll only make maybe a quarter of a litre a day something like that so you'd slowly supplement your water supply since you're going to need maybe three four litres a day you need to wash every day do some dishes and and what not tea or coffee dehydrated foods you need a lot of water right, that's coming along lovely might seem like I'm painting this quite fast but I'm not I've just been doing this for about four or five hours already so I've just got the hang of it as well Bristles really get on your nerves. Don't screw the paint up. Lots and lots to do on board anyway. Take it. Check out my channel and all the previous videos I posted about the Windy Ridge, the ship that I'm in. Check my ship. Well, the ship isn't too expensive that's not what costs when it comes to ships what costs is maintenance uh, like say you've got to pay someone else to do it or uh, something breaks or you need a hoist because you need to have a jet wash or a new coat of paint on the bottom mooring fees are insane these days it used to be way more reasonable before all that Inflation caused by you know what. By design, no doubt. Don't think anybody's going to do that one again. Hopefully not. doing the rim here so I don't want to touch that bit straight away uh, sounds busy out there engines a lot of people went out earlier at least a dozen ships most of them big, a couple of super yachts went out and all. They're always interesting to watch. Them things always cost a few million, usually. 
Well, just, just under a million. No, you don't need that. It's a lie. You can get a nice ship like this for about the price of a nice caravan. Used caravan. So, one that needs a bit of work. And depending what marina you're in, like if you're in Panath, they'll cut you a deal because the mooring fees are horrendous. Forcing you to sort of come here and do more work, I guess. <coughs> or go out or whatever. Bristles. Seen them coming off. Really annoying. <laughs> Bristles. Just screwing that right up. Okay. Something's going on over there. We're going to have to have a look in a second since it sounds like there's some ship really close by. No, it's the water bus. <sighs> Thought so, I could hear like loud bow thrusters. Water bus goes around Cardiff Bay. Now that's cheap ish, but it's not very personal. There's loads of people here that will take you on a ride for not much around the bay. Into flat home or steep home or one of the other islands. Scock home. Nobody really knows about that. I was surprised that exists. And why does it sound like that? It sounds Swedish. It's a British island. Weird, huh? Yes, there's a Scock home in Britain. I don't know. a lot of strange little islands on the maps, on the charts, which most people generally don't see unless you've got a boat and a reason to buy naval charts or get a chart plotter, which I have, which is over there, it's not a fly. It's also my chart plotter. Pretty much every map on there shows your position and everything. Haven't got AIS though, so I can't broadcast out like, um, you know, like um, IFF in video games, like when you have a green box around a friendly person and the red or a box around an enemy, sort of like that. That's what an AIS does basically, it shows your position, which you don't always want. Anyway, unless it's at night, of course, in which case you'll probably want to use as much light and energy and increase your radar signature any way you can, which is actually easier than it sounds. There's a bristle coming out of there. How long have I been painting for? Oh, 49 minutes ish. <laughs> the video cuts out because I'm low on memory, sorry. Although it shouldn't do. I will get my hustle on painting this anyway. Opened. Oh, look at all that. 
Good job I did all my Look at the gap missing. Ah. Should have known. It's not an issue though. Good lucky. I'm keeping it slightly longer than I thought. Yeah, there's another bristle. Okay. Oh, load just came off, and as well over there. Uh, see what I mean? And then you've got to scrape them off, otherwise it'll just be stuck all over the woodwork and make it look terrible. Got them all. Back over that. Go. T typical. It's not even old brush, it's just... What make is this? Um, home base, right. That explains why this brush ain't lasting that long. It's basically from B&Q type place, home base, similar thing. Same colours, same everything. Probably by the next to each other. Terrible deals. And I personally know that they treat their staff really badly, like a disposable immigrant tea type treatment, which is really bad. I can always get more workers, that sort of attitude. They sack left, right, and centre, basically. Are oh, you up to lucky? What was that? Oh. She's messing with her food bowl. I'm having a drink. Good girl. Rabbit's having a drink. Cute, didn't she? <laughs> Lives up, Bernie. As I said. Good, she's been no problem. You know, she protested or stampede or anything, so she's not in distress. She's in... Rabbits are uh, in distress or offended, they stamp, like uh, thump the ground, like no, they go like that. So if you ever see a rabbit doing that when you're outside, get away from it. You're probably scaring the crap out of it. With your large bigness. Being a, you know, human. Oh, that's lovely and cool by you. This engine needs to be de-rusted. I need to put fresh oil in it. I need to crank that oil in, manually. I need to repaint it, because I've got high temperature paint. Once I get all this rust off, it will also lessen the load on the engine itself. It's like a cheap way of getting more power, essentially. Quite a bit of grease left. That's a grease pump, that thing. Ooh. That thing's a grease pump. Which is uh, obviously for lubrication. Uh, the engine's packed. Not too much left to do.
Now obviously if it takes this long to do this bulkhead, the one behind me, which is bigger, is going to take a good couple of hours. As there's two sides to it. There's two sides to this, but I'm not going to be painting inside of the engine cabin. That'd be ridiculous. Mainly because you get fume and oil and all sorts of crud inside of here. Paint the rim to match it, but that's all I'm doing. I'm not going to paint the inside of the engine cabin. That's not something you do on the boat. Oh. Ooh, I'm covered in paint. <laughs> that happens. I'll wash it off later. Cut in a bit there. Hinge. Uh, it's getting up my sh schnoz, my nose. <laughs> Quite nasty, actually. Get in there. side of that door. Rim's done anyway. I need to do that bit by there and then I can continue. Doesn't really matter if these hinges get paint on I guess. It's not like they're going to be a visible part. I don't know why there's a lock on the inside of that. Anyway, looking lovely. But not yet done. Very close though. Sometimes there ain't enough paint on the brush. This can happen. Kind of annoying. This means you're going to have to go over it with a little bit more. Also, if you've got a bristle in the middle, uh, it's terrible. Then you've got to pick it out and go all over it again. So, smooth singular strokes like that best. That also takes longer. A lot of gap at the top. Stuff really, really absorbs this varnish. It's amazing. So I'm just literally glopping it on like you've got to. This will massively protect the woodwork. Terrible all that um, water marking. Glad that's gone. You know, unseemly for a boat you'd spend a fair amount of time in, and the Windy Ridge is a beautiful ship. As I keep getting told by people here. In fact, uh, I had a uh, like some guy today asking if I was selling and it was a pretty ship. Sounded like he was after it. <laughs> and no. Uh, pink fumes.
bristle bastard. Oh, sorry about that. It's just boiling hot and pink fumes, uh, varnish fumes. I mean, look. Trust me, it's really like it's all going straight out the door though, but I'm painting it and it's coming up in my face the smell of the paint varnish. Which smells pretty bad. solar charger thing I'll just have to stay out of the way until this is dry which will take about ooh, this temperature 